I'm Eric. And I'm Steve. San Diego Comic-Con promos. Ban and restricted update. Magic 2019 box opening. Let's talk about it. Welcome, Plates Walkers, to the Collector Mania YouTube channel, and thank you for joining us for an episode of Let's Talk About It, episode number 37. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's uh, break into things. Yeah, we've got some really, really cool, beautiful, beautiful promos to look yeah. at. Let's uh, give us a transition here. Wham. So, our oh, first one, gorgeous. Gideon is a Trials, yeah. All of these are uh, Therese Nielsen artworks. Um, Which I love that she did the stained glass treatment. I think she's perfectly suited for that. Oh, yeah, I mean, time. she's probably the one that's got the most experience with it as well. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. watercolor just looks so ethereal to begin with. It, Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, you think of cards like, uh, you know, Descendants Path, that totally sticks out in my mind with kind of that stained glass, yep. like... I think Call to Mind is another one with just like images yep. kind of in the background and the foreground and stuff like. Well, even like the new Force of Will, like I, mm -hmm. I can see that being stained glass as well. You know? Yeah, so yeah. just beautiful. And it fits with the theme of Dominaria, you know, being in the like Benalia, yep. you know, cathedrals or citadels or whatever. You know, definitely sweet. Well, and I love what they did with the characters here, with sticking like figures in their like mana colors behind them. Yeah. Like with Gideon, we've got Sarah, of course, and mm -hmm. like. It, it it's the knights like tie together you know yeah what do you think of the choice of Gideon to the trials um it's not my favorite version of Gideon but I understand why they chose it I mean yeah. it's the most recent so yeah, the most kind of like relevant I guess yeah like, yeah and I think they did a good job with that I think some planeswalkers didn't have a I think there's one that we both maybe agree should have been changed yep and then um, other than that, yeah, I think they stuck with kind of the standard theme and then the most relevant standard Planeswalker of that color. So The unfortunate part is obviously this isn't going to be legal and standard for very long, yeah. so you got to consider that. Yeah. Um, I don't think people are picking these up to play in standard anyway, but no. you know, just keep that in mind kind of thing. Yeah, so. for sure. Um, next, we've got Jace Cunning Castaway. So this is probably my least favorite choice. Yeah. Um, this is not my favorite Planeswalker by any means, no. and it kind of sucks that this is the one that's got Urza on it too so it's just yeah. like oh man I mean they could have chosen Tezzeret which probably wouldn't have been a good I mean yeah. otherwise the other Jace like yeah that's the unfortunate part is there's not really a good Jace good that's close you know what I mean yeah that's true um, still fantastic art um, yep. yeah he's he, I think normally he's like three or four bucks so it's like <laughs> oh great <laughs> oh cool I did hear that I think they've lowered the price on this I think originally or the last few years they've done this since like 2014 2013 I think um, I think they were 150 bucks if you bought it at the Wizards uh, booth of course if you didn't if you don't know what San Diego Comic Con is like your SDCC like we had in the beginning these guys are available I think online if you're lucky like they might go very quickly yeah I mean I I was listening to another podcast and they were like yeah they literally are gone in like 20 minutes yeah. so you if you want them you better get on there and yep. try and grab them I guess and there's gonna be a lot of people that want these yeah. so I remember when Chris went he used to go to Comic Con and he would see people waiting in line and he didn't get very much time off when he's working a con but it's just like he wanted some and he, there's no point like by the time you get up to the front of the line they'd all be sold out anyway like yeah um so, so it literally wouldn't even matter <laughs> yeah i think they're 100 bucks now that was my point there i guess instead of 150 so that's good that jace if it's a little bit cheaper you're not spending extra for a jace yeah, cunning cast that's also true yeah yeah uh next we have liliana untouched by death yep so they've kept the original set symbols for these which is kind of cool so you can see where they came from um, this one you would rather have uh, Liliana's Death's Majesty I mean I, I don't think I know once again it's rotating out but I just think overall that's a better more liked Planeswalker I know this one's brand new and hasn't really even had a chance to shine yet and it might be a standard powerhouse or whatever but between the two I'm more on the Death's Majesty I just like that card a lot and I think a lot of people have worn, learned to really love it yeah um like i said that's me not giving this card a chance quite yet because like i said i literally haven't had a chance to play with it and i'm sure it's gonna be fine i just i don't know You've, you'd rather have the tried and true than the new i guess right well and i i think i'm looking at it from commander perspective once again like mm -hmm. i would much rather have the death's majesty because that card in commander is just a powerhouse and like this card like i said could be um i it's gonna be good in tribal zombies, tribal but zombies, right. that's about it. Rather than a good black planeswalker. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Still fantastic. It's cool that Nicol Bolas is in the background, given the whole 
plot change with him and stuff. Um, well, and the artwork, yeah. Again, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. Like, it's beautiful. Yeah. I'd, I'd still own it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd still Big buy time. it. Big time. Sweet, sweet card. Uh, next, we have Chandra Torch of Defiance, probably yeah. the the big, quote, yeah. big one, you know. Um, I know that and this is Jaya in the background, right? Correct. Her mentor, I guess, so pretty sweet. What are your thoughts? Uh, Artwork-wise, I don't really like Chandra in this one. I don't like this depiction of Chandra, which is kind of weird, but it's it doesn't look like her to me. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. Overall, the card looks stunning. Like, it still looks beautiful. It just doesn't look like Chandra to me. The face or the hair or... I think it's everything. Yeah, I don't right. know. I, like, maybe I'm just too used to seeing Chandra flame on, not Chandra yeah. flame off. That's that what could I, be part of it. That's what I think of. It's like, I don't... I can't even think of a... Like, I can think of a few cards. Like, isn't Cathartic Reunion yeah. and, like, Deathlock Trap, whatever, where she's, like, got her hair, like, not on fire? <laughs> like. Yeah. It does. It does look odd, you know. Um, but I mean, once again, amazing looking card. Yeah. Really good ch card choice. Like, yes. Obviously, this genre is going to go down, and I think history is one of the best genres ever printed. Yeah. I think it's going to be one of the best red planeswalkers ever. I mean, if you think about it, what else is this competing with? Like Koth. Koth. Yeah, I think you know sh this is the best red planeswalker. You yeah, know. by a long shot. Yeah. I mean. Honestly, in my opinion, the only one that's even close is, like I said, Koth or the other Chandra, Big Chandra. From uh, Othu Gatewatch? Yeah, yeah, and that's not even close. I mean, no. in power level. No. So you take a look at this card and, like, its application and, like, formats where it's, like, more 1v1, it's just a ridiculous powerhouse. Like, you add the mana, you do the damage, you do basically whatever you want. It's got removal. Yeah, it's, it's the full package. Yeah, I think this will be one of the more sought-after ones, and I think this will stick in people's minds as a good, a good pick. Yep. A good card to own into the future. Yeah, definitely a good choice there. Yep. And lastly, we have Nissa Vital Force. Which I'm really happy with the choice here. I'm really, really happy that they didn't go with the blue-green one from Mom and Cat. Like, yeah, that would have been so weird. I do not like that card. Yeah. And this card is 100 times better, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my gosh. I This and like a landfall deck is just so good. Mm -hmm. Like, just being able to make that elemental creature out of a land and then return stuff yeah it's it's just a good planeswalker yeah and great artwork like yeah. my wife saw this and she was like holy cow when the minute she saw this one and yeah. you see four great looking ones before that as well yeah. there's a uh, fray lease in the background and stuff uh, another great choice i think another really solid um pick as far as a green planeswalker like you said you know i really like the treatment on the free release stand yeah. box like it looks so like real it, yeah. it's just like my gosh <laughs> yeah very talented artist obviously yeah that's why she trees nielsen is one of the the big ones you yeah know? that's yeah. one of the big names so it totally makes sense and the free release artwork itself like it looks very elfy yeah. and that's not something everybody can pull off but she obviously does it really well so yeah fantastic so I think that's it. Um... Well, one thing I wanted to bring up before we move on oh, yeah. here is like, this is a huge like there is a very small community of people out there that are essentially trying to build decks out of like certain artists like commander decks oh, yeah. or whatever type of decks. So this is a huge boon for them because now they've got a planeswalker in each color. I think most of the most of Trees Nielsen is usually blue green or I think there's a quite a bit of like white as well mm -hmm. um, if I recall right. So. Just keep that in mind. That might even drive these prices a little bit more, because like I said, people are definitely after that artwork. So Yeah, and I could see her being a, maybe one of five or so really great artists that most people know. Yeah. like And has that art, I guess, has that big of a portfolio. Yeah, they've been around, you know, she's been around and I'm sure has got a, a good portion of cards you could include. So yeah. yeah, that's a really interesting thought, Steve. So yeah. um, Next, our second topic here. Ban and restricted announcement on Monday. Was it Monday? Uh, somewhere Tuesday? On there. I yeah. don't remember exactly. But uh, yeah, Death Rat got the axe. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people are really excited about this. A lot of people are really upset about this. So it's yeah. like, which side are you on, basically? Yep. Um, I, did you read the, the theory behind the ban of these? or I did not. Okay. They were talking about, you know, like this card is just stapled with things that are just like, oh, this, this is nice. Oh, this was good. There's more. Like, yeah. Um, and, of course, if you think back to this card, you know, a few years ago when this was in Modern, and mm -hmm. now it's gone from Legacy, like, this card is legal in Vintage. And, and it's it's limited in Vintage, from it, what it I is? understand, yeah. Okay, I was going to, Seth and I were joking about it yesterday, like, what's the next step? Restriction? Like, you know, well, restricting it to one of? And that's like, what's funny about it, is it was limited in Vintage before it was banned in Legacy. That's nuts. Yeah. 
And, you know, a lot of people make the joke that this is the best one mana Planeswalker they'll ever print. And <laughs> yeah. it's 100% true. Yeah. I mean, with the amount of abilities that are on this card, one of the main things, the arguments for banning it, is that it makes four color possible yep. very easily. Yeah. yeah. And really, it's just like, it shuts down stuff. I remember when this came out and it was just like, well, the, the Chris was playing Maverick and he's like, I need stuff in my graveyard to make this go. And here comes Deathrite Shaman and Scavenging Ooze. Like, it shuts stuff down. It gains you life to help recover. It gains you mana. Like, oh my gosh. So versatile, so good. That's funny to say it's a Planeswalker. Yeah, like, it can the best just, one mana Planeswalker. Can't can't use it the turn it comes in, but <laughs> <laughs> after that, you can go crazy. Like, Well, and the plays that I've... Even in EDH that I've seen with this card are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I've killed people with this card. Yeah. It sounds crazy, but it, it definitely happens. You just start exiling some instants and sorceries, and... I mean, it hits each opponent. Ah, oh, it's just so good. Yeah, very strong. Um, yeah, I w do you think he'll be back in Ravnica? No, no. <laughs> that would be a terrible mistake. So yeah. let's let's not do that, Watsy. Let's not put Death right back in standard rotation. Yeah. I honestly, what I think is that they need to make another version of this card a little less powerful. Um, yeah. I don't even know if that's possible, but. If they did, I, I'm sure the modern and legacy community would be happy because they really just broke the mold on this one. And oh yeah, this this seems like a card that should have come out like five years from now. You yeah. know what I mean? And it came out like three years ago or, or something like, like that. In alpha or something. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They just didn't understand what was happening. Like, eh, I think they did. I think they yeah. were just like, here's a really powerful card. Good luck, guys. And it's just like, well, here we are. Yeah. You know, a couple years later, banning it from basically everything. everything. Yeah good thing is is that commander players can now pick this up for a really good price it, it was only like six or eight bucks i think well now it's gonna be like three dollars yeah, yeah so <laughs> yeah. definitely a good one get your copies now yep <laughs> um yeah it's interesting that, that there's a card that's pr almost entirely banned from play yep. like that isn't thousands of dollars or yep. like have the word anti printed on it <laughs> yeah. you know um the second banning uh with a goofy image sorry about that which this one makes 100 percent sense i mean Gitaxian Probe, it's an amazing card. I remember people playing it in Standard. Like, that was a nightmare. Mm -hmm. It being part of, like, all those combo decks was just a nightmare. Like, basically, I mean, a lot of people make the argument that you shouldn't be able to see what your opponent can respond to your combo with. Mm -hmm. Like, you shouldn't always ha be able to know that you're safe. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the main reasons for this. Obviously, the biggest reason is the Phyrexian Mana. I yeah. mean, that has been something that's plagued magic forever like ever since new phyrexia yeah. yeah i mean that's a mistake that they made that they should have never made like i feel like energy is the fixed phyrexian mana in a lot of ways yeah you know just because it's there's like a cost you know life is something that you know i i like to play with a lot it's just like whatever i can pay whatever amount of life to draw a bunch of cards and that's yeah. how people feel with this card exactly oh i'll pay two life to draw a card and see my opponent's hand like that's almost bonus at well, that point you know and the fact that it can be in any color too like it literally doesn't yeah. matter you could be like playing mono red and play this it, it just literally doesn't matter yeah. so like that's another thing yeah Ugh. and i think big ones that it was part of ad nauseum tendrils and stuff yeah. like it was a big part of Storm in the past, I believe, because yep. you could just draw into a piece of paying some life, you know. Um, yeah, like you said, you can check to see if they've got the counter spell or whatever. Um, yeah, just a great card. No, if if it any, like, uh, holdbacks, I guess, or drawbacks. Like, Yeah. I mean, we haven't played with this card in a million years, so it's not... That's the cool thing, is it's not really affecting you or I, but right. it's definitely affecting a lot of players out there, and I'm yeah. sure... People are kind of upset that their four foil Gitaxian probes are now just kind of like, oh, okay. And they made F and M promos of this too, didn't yep, they? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Really happy they didn't do that with Death Rite Shaman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, so, that's it for those. So we're gonna transition here into opening a box, of course, at 2019. That's so right. get pumped. That's right. Okay, we are back, and we are gonna open this box. Waha! Da 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 da! I'll rip her open on air. Do it. What do you open for, Steve? Uh, some cool stuff. I don't know. Um, Full Tezzerits, the money card. Yeah, there we go. Box. That would be crazy. Um, honestly, I want a Vivian, but... <laughs> yeah. I, I want all the Planeswalkers. That's the problem. So. That is the problem. So we're going to open these on camera as much as we can, or just put the rares here? Or? Um, I think just put the rares. I Because okay. that worked out really well last time, where we weren't like trying to jump over each other and that kind of stuff. Yeah, and show stuff off. Yeah. 
There's another half for you. Thank you. There are some really good uncommons in this set, like really good multicolor uncommons that I'm looking for, um, in particular. And a, Dragon! And a Jami, a Jami emblem. Oh, escape shift. Holy crap. Well, there you go. Off to a good start. <laughs> $30 card there, right? Yep. Now I just need three more of those. Yeah, and you can build a Valakut deck. Do you have Valak uh, escape shift Valakut? Or, you know what I mean? Do you have yeah. the land? No, no. Holy bejesus. Well, jeez. Okay, this is a really good, uh, really good boxo. It's all downhill from here, folks. Basically, I, I don't even know how to recover it. Oh, Mentor of the Meek. Okay, that's that's good. Not too bad. <laughs> you need a Crucible? Yeah, I have plenty of Crucibles. You do? Yeah. I have the two that I need, which I know sounds crazy, but... Gigantosaurus and another emblem. Oh, man. A Valiant Knight. These knights are so cool. Yeah. That that white cat. Yeah. The new Bremaz would be another sweet pull. Yep. I know I need to get one of those um, one with one with the machine or reliquary tower. That's at like six dollars right now. Oh yeah, foil magister scepter. Oh dude, Ooh. that's a cool pull and a foil sift. Yeah, dude, that's sweet. Because the only other foil version of that is like Mercadian masks, yep. right? Yeah. And so it's got the, the new frame. Yeah. That's... Well, this is a pretty legit box. Yeah, it is. I don't know if that was too pricey, but that is sweet. Yeah. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Like, there are a few places I can imagine that I'll want. Oh my god, and a Sarkin? Holy crap. That's like three relevant mythics. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, look at that! <laughs> dude! Two foil rares in one box? <laughs> oh my good god. <laughs> well, you guys saw it here first. Do we need to even open up the rest, Eric? Nope, I don't know, man. Uh, you can just give it to me with your good fortune, right? <laughs> there's, there's your. Uh, oh my God! Your dragon queen. Jeez. If so we, uh, if we find any more mythics in here, I'm calling calling wizards and yeah, saying, "Hey, like, you can have your box back." Well, no, I'm not doing that. But I'm. I don't know. Maybe call them and thank them. I, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. A bone dragon. I don't know why I put that up there. And then ox. For your transmogrifying wand. Ah! That, that card's so cool. Like, <laughs> yeah, it is really crazy. So you've got, what, four mythics already? Yeah. You still have half a box? Yeah, this is insane. Maybe you should do, for cards for commander, maybe you should do the artifacts and enchantments. Another reliquary tower. Because you're with the machine. You're definitely uh, pretty hyped about them, whereas I'm not as hyped, I guess. I don't know. I just like it. I don't think there's much use. I mean, yeah. the card's cool, but giving somebody a 2-4 ox just for funsies, like, yeah. meh. It's, I mean, yeah. I wish it didn't have charges. That's yeah. the one thing that, like, kills it for me, but yeah. that's me being greedy. Vivian's Invocation. I actually like that card. I'm going to clear some of these. Sounds good. Oh, I was looking for this. Oh, Poison Tip Archer. Yeah, that guy's good. Right into Slimefoot. Hey, there's a Chaos Wand. Yeah. Nice. That, that card looks beautiful, too. Yeah. I still can't believe this. Well, I guess I'm building Chromium. Yeah. I, uh, if you guys haven't heard me talk about this before, I always try and build, like, whenever I start opening, like, my first box or whatever, I always try and build from that, like, as far as, like, my first commander deck or the only commander deck that I get from that set. That set yeah. So, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's a really pretty, that's a really pretty card. Mm -hmm. Now we just need to find a foil Psy and, uh, oh, dude, yeah. Cleansing Nova. Oh, Psy would be sweet. I mean, really, I can't ask for anything else at this point. Uh, hey, another Valiant Knight. Oh, look at that dragon token. Oh, That's pretty sweet. I think that's the... And what the hell is this? Use this card to represent... Oh, okay, double face bolus. That's that's a good idea. Oh, yeah, okay. When it's a very, like, small set. So, yeah, just one of. Yeah. Another Magister Scepter. Nice, nice, nice. And a foil Shards Island. of Alara Island. Oh, that's, like, my favorite one, too. Yeah, beautiful. I still have eight packs. A Palak Worm. He got an upgrade treatment, man. Yeah. Oops, I knocked the, knocked the thing a little bit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Spit Flame. Not too shabby. No. Things have slowed down a little bit, yeah. but uh, as I deserve, yeah. <laughs> basically. I actually really like this zombie card. Your supplier, yeah, it's kind of like brutal, yeah, like, for wizards' art. Yeah, somebody else, or Seth was commenting a few days ago, like, 
the demon of whatever, like that card's pretty like l looks crazy. Yeah. His last stand. Um. Yeah, that's that one's kind of like se holding a severed head. That's yeah. kind of kind of messed up. I guess maybe not severed, but a dead head. Well, I mean, it's got to be severed somehow. Yeah. Right? At some point, it was severed. Oh man. Love that artwork. Welcome. I l I think this card is super cool. Yeah. If you like knights, or if you just respect knights. I also like this card, Colossal Majesty. Oh yeah. Like beginning of your upkeep, if you control a creature with power four or greater, draw a card. Like that's pretty good. It's not bad. Right in this Silvala, right? Yep. Then we got a dismissive, dismissive pyromancer, and a transmogrifying. Hey, wand. there's that card. Now you can make the ox and the wand a thing. <laughs> ox wand combo, 2018. God, I can't, I can't believe those hits like early, like I. Yeah. I'm still like, what? <laughs> then we got a demon of catastrophes. Yeah, that guy. A foil anticipate, which Ooh, is pretty not, cool. Not bad. Goblin trash. Hey, master. I was looking for one of those. Ashley liked the name of that one. Yeah. She's like, what is that for real? I'm like, yep. Yep. Definitely looks like he's from the unstable plane, you know? Oh my god, Eric. Jeez. <laughs> Man. With a foil Aether Tunnel, nonetheless. Hmm. I don't know what that card does, but... Oh my gosh. A runic Armasaur. Oh my gosh. This is like... What gotta, happened to get this? Get this guy out of here. Get this guy out of here. What happened to this box? It went bananas. Like, maybe this is a new thing they're doing. They're just like, yeah. here, have all the Mythics. It's a, a seven Mythic box with two foil rares. Jeez, man. Open the graves <clears throat> and our new skeleton archer, skeleton oh. archer in foil. That guy's oh. so sweet looking. That's they need to make a legendary skeleton. Yeah. Come on, wizards. Yeah, like after you had said um, the other day when we were talking about it that the uh, betrayer of souls should have been legendary. Oh, yeah. Like it totally makes sense. Yeah. Not that he's great, but then we could have a commander. Like. Yeah. I think there's always that like division between like. Uh, Tribal plan or tribal commanders and like regular commanders and yeah. Thorn Lieutenant oh is my part of my last pack. What the heck? Dude. That is that is crazy. That's three of the dragons in one box. Well of course one of them is foiled, but So you've got a pack left? Yeah. Hey man, this is crazy. This might have been one of the best boxes I've ever opened. Yeah. Okay, that's that's fair, but uh, Marshall. Man. So let's let's uh let's look take at a this. look at what the heck actually happened here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mythics. Like, yeah, you literally called it. <laughs> like seven mythics, two foil rares. The only thing you'd be like, I mean, you didn't get Tezzeret, but that's not uh, like no, Sarkin's I mean, really good. Yeah, you know, um, yeah, I think all these are playable. Like. Like, the only mythic... Well, there's two mythics that I don't necessarily, like, care for. Yeah. But the other ones is just like, what? And I guess we should have that cool dragon coin. Oh, yeah, there, Lathos, not this yeah. guy. Um, yeah, dude. That's yeah, nuts. this is insane. This well... Is, and, like, um, a bunch of the really cool equipment and a lot of really, yeah. other really cool rares. Like, well, guys, you saw it here. Um, yeah, just like a Crucible. That's kind of the, the big... Or, yeah... Yeah, dude, that's awesome. This I is... take this box like oh, yeah, big time, definitely. Like this is insane. Well, um, yeah. congrats, Steve. That's Thanks, sweet. Yeah. Uh, that might be one of the best boxes we've opened on camera. Like, yeah, by a long shot. Like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, if uh, not to hawk the shop here a little bit, but <laughs> boxes are for sale this week. Uh, we have I think twenty two boxes left to sell for pre release weekend. Um, for pre-order pricing and stuff. Like, there definitely was a little bit of confusion about that. I had a lot of people, a lot of phone calls over the last couple of days, like asking, well, when are the boxes for sale? So yeah. that'd be 12 o'clock midnight Friday, correct? Yeah, so Saturday at like 12.01 in the morning, essentially. Yep. Um, that's when we can sell them, and we can sell them until like 11.59 on Sunday. And then if you don't show up but on Saturday or Sunday this weekend, we the next chance we can sell it is next Friday the 13th. Yep. We cannot sell anything in between the pre-release weekend and friday so and we do have the planeswalker decks for sale as well this yeah, weekend yep so yeah. those will be for sale again same kind of window there saturday sunday and then full release friday um if uh 
like you said, we've got, I think, a few 22-some boxes to pre-order still. And then same thing for the buy box promos. So if you want the Nexus of Fate promo, um, like Steve, for buying a box, you can you can get those guys as well. While they last, again, they the other ones didn't make it through the weekend. We had yeah. them all claimed. I think we had three boxes left to sell, like, on Saturday of Dominaria. So I think a lot of people are huge fans of this. I, you know... Good well, for Wizards for kind of listening, I guess. Yeah, and they went back to the core sets, which is something that everybody really was like, why did you go away from this? Like, yeah. Ugh, they, they make a lot of really interesting decisions, and I, we probably won't get into that here because it's like yeah. an hour-long conversation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, really cool box. Really excited. Good pick, Eric. I mean, really, oh, yeah. you, you chose the box. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Get your boxes at Click Me now. Woo! Ah! So uh, we'll, we'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, for another episode of Let's Talk About It. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Have a good day, guys.